All right, let's get started. You guys are in the wrong conference room. Oh, sorry about that. Have you been doing more physical meetings post-COVID? I have, right? business meetings, not social, right? So more, I've been asked for more and I've been open for more. I'm still avoiding some, but I've been doing much, much more. I've even attended an event, like a, a good friend of mine was speaking at an event and there were 50 people in the room. That was new for me. I haven't been able to do that uh, before. Uh, so I, I can see more and more of business picking up uh, in the Emirates. And that, that also has to do with long-term efficiency in planning and, and making sure that COVID does not spread the way it has uh, in other countries. So with uh, uh, physical meetings taking place for work, um, I came across an article uh, that stood out for me. So it was Bloomberg article about how they used uh, data from purchase from one of the uh, chains, uh, Pret-a-Manger, uh, to look at uh, the frequency of purchase of Pret-a-Manger versus before. So they're saying now it's up to around 50% from one of the uh, business districts. And what stood out for me is one, uh, there's an increase in business uh, uh, picking up physical meetings and going to the office and so on. Two, humans are such creatures of habit of buying coffee and food from a certain location and a certain proximity and so on that we're so, uh, so structured in terms of habit that we are able to use that as a basis for data to monitor how, uh, how we're growing uh, uh, in terms of the physical aspect of this. Um, let me know more in the comments if you've been doing more physical meetings. I know I have. I've also been observing many more business meetings in Dubai as well. You can you can track the business meeting person, right? With the jackets that are, that are put on the side, the blazers. You could look at their carry-ons or, you know, four, uh, four or five people who are a little bit uh, uh, somehow smart, casually dressed on, on a 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Uh, after, after a long day of work. Uh, next, we're going to talk about WhatsApp's voice notes being much faster. Hi, boss. This is a really long, really boring voice note about content that I want to pitch to you. But because I know you're busy, I suggest you play it faster. Because WhatsApp just added this capability. You can now play voice notes at normal speed, at 1.5 speed, and at double speed. If you don't have this option yet, make sure to install the latest update. See you tomorrow. Now. You've noticed with WhatsApp that the voice notes, uh, you have a small number next to them. <coughs> and the video that Rita prepared shows that. One, 1.5 and two times speed. Initially, voice notes for me were not, uh, let's say I was not very open to having voice notes for work, but I've seen that I've been able to reduce a phone call so, or, or like, a, like a long phone call or a 30 hour online meeting to a few voice notes back and forth that I can take care of in between my meetings or in the evening uh, uh, once once my day is over. But and with uh, with the increase of volume and speed, uh, uh, the volume of uh, uh, voice notes and their duration, I can see six updates on, on WhatsApp. Friends saying voice notes over one minute, they will not be opened or read. So it's like there's a, this animosity on this. So this is WhatsApp's response to the increased volume of voice notes and the increased duration of voice notes, where you can listen to it at a faster speed. So give it a try. I've been seeing more and more people in my circle use it uh, more frequently, and I suggest you do. All right. Uh, one more aspect as well from an app perspective, also from the Facebook family, is likes on Instagram. A lot of us measure likes. I know when I, when I talk to anybody, whether they're CEOs of a huge business or a seven-year-old cousin, they ask about likes. How many likes are you getting? What are you doing? So that's uh, how we measure our self-worth. I also know a lot of people who, when they post an image, if it doesn't get a certain number of likes within a certain amount of time, they take it down. So there's a huge psyche uh, around this, and I've been keeping track of this for uh, a while. I uh, there was once the on the XP conference in Dubai where where I spoke about uh, where I spoke about that. Uh, 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 I'm going to share a, a, a video about this. The Instagram likes are going away. Uh, that uh, addresses mostly the insecurities that we all have about, I posted the video, I only have two views, 
uh, and or I don't have enough likes on my uh, on my page. So we all have uh, on my page or on my on the post. We all have those insecurities. So with uh, Instagram hiding those likes, uh, the part uh, the trigger is to have people more confident to post more and to get them to post more and more content to build that habit until they have they are they're much more comfortable. Uh, w broadening their distribution. So it's coming, it's not here yet uh, uh, for uh, all of the countries, but it's, but it's coming. So there's an option for you to turn it off in your settings now. You turn it off for you and for others to see your posts. This way on securities, we're fine, we can live through this. Uh, we're, we're, we're okay doing this. And uh, I'm gonna give it a try myself. I'm gonna see, do I feel better about myself or not? So I'll let you know, I'll update you on this, but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's an, a, a big issue for for me personally, but I know that it is for many, many, many other people. So give it a try and let me know if it works for you. I'm going to turn this off for a while for me to see. What might affect me personally is actually, I sometimes uh, look for measures of popularity on other people's content. Uh, that also might, might change for me if I do this. So, uh, uh, but very likely I'm going to keep it on by default.